The night sky has always fascinated humanity, with countless stars and constellations filling our collective imagination with wonder. One star, in particular, has intrigued astronomers, stargazers, and scientists alike for centuries, Betelgeuse. Located in the constellation of Orion, Betelgeuse is a massive red supergiant star that has captivated our attention for a multitude of reasons. However, in recent years, it has become the subject of growing speculation and excitement. Scientists, led by renowned astrophysicists like Brian Cox, have been keeping a watchful eye on Betelgeuse, as it may be on the cusp of an event that could change the way we understand the universe. Betelgeuse is on the brink of an explosive death, and the day it goes supernova could be one of the most awe-inspiring events ever witnessed in human history. Betelgeuse is a star that lies roughly 600 light-years away from Earth, making it one of the closest supergiant stars to our planet. To put that distance into perspective, a single light-year is the distance that light travels in one year, which is about 5.88 trillion miles. That means Betelgeuse is more than 3.5 trillion miles away from us, yet its enormous size and brightness make it one of the most visible stars in the night sky. It's often described as the shoulder of Orion, the hunter, and its deep red color is unmistakable. But what's truly remarkable about Betelgeuse is its future, and more specifically, the fact that it is nearing the end of its life cycle. Stars like Betelgeuse are known as red supergiants, a stage in a star's evolution that occurs when a massive star runs out of hydrogen in its core. This happens after millions of years of burning through fuel, and when hydrogen is depleted, the star begins to fuse heavier elements like helium and carbon. As it does, the star expands to enormous sizes. Betelgeuse, for example, is over 1,000 times the size of our own Sunday. If Betelgeuse were to replace our Sun in our solar system, it would extend past the orbit of Jupiter. Its sheer size is staggering, and that's part of what makes it so fascinating. But its massive size also means that it has a much shorter life expectancy than smaller stars like our Sun. While the Sun has been shining for about 4.6 billion years and will continue to do so for billions more, Betelgeuse has been burning bright for just a fraction of that time. It's approaching the end of its life, and when it does finally run out of fuel, it will explode in a supernova, an event that could rival anything we've ever witnessed in the sky. The theory of Betelgeuse's impending explosion has been a topic of intense speculation and excitement for astronomers and the general public alike. The most dramatic moment in a red supergiant's life is the supernova, a stellar explosion so powerful that it can briefly outshine an entire galaxy. When Betelgeuse finally detonates, it will be visible to us here on Earth, and not just through telescopes or scientific instruments, but with the naked eye. For a short period, Betelgeuse will shine brighter than the entire Milky Way, casting an eerie glow across the night sky. Some scientists even predict that it will be bright enough to be seen during the day. If you were outside when it exploded, it could seem like a second sun in the sky, temporarily blinding you with its brilliance. The event will be one for the history books, an unprecedented spectacle that will be visible to anyone who looks up. What makes Betelgeuse's potential explosion even more intriguing is the possibility that it could happen at any time. In astronomical terms, this means the explosion could happen tomorrow, or it could take tens of thousands of years. Because Betelgeuse is so far away, we're seeing it as it was 600 years ago, the time it takes for light to travel from the star to Earth. So while we are eagerly awaiting the supernova, it's possible that the explosion has already occurred, and the light from that event is still making its way toward us. This presents an almost mind-boggling perspective on time and space. The light we see from Betelgeuse today may not be representative of what the star is currently doing, but rather a glimpse into the past. It's a humbling reminder of just how vast the universe is and how small we are within it. Betelgeuse has been under intense observation for many years, with astronomers around the world closely tracking its behavior. In 2019 and 2020, a mysterious event known as the Great Dimming occurred, causing Betelgeuse to suddenly lose a significant amount of its brightness. This dramatic drop in luminosity led many scientists to speculate that Betelgeuse was on the verge of going supernova. However, further research revealed that the dimming was likely caused by a massive cloud of dust being ejected from the star. 
This dust cloud temporarily blocked some of the light coming from Betelgeuse, making it appear dimmer than usual. While this discovery relieved some concerns that Betelgeuse might have already been in the process of exploding, it also raised new questions about the star's behavior and what might happen in the future. In March 2024, Betelgeuse experienced another dimming event, further fueling speculation that the star is nearing the end of its life. This recent dip in brightness is significant because it suggests that Betelgeuse is still undergoing some kind of instability. Some scientists believe that the dimming is a result of ongoing convective currents within the star, pushing large amounts of material to its surface. These convective currents, which are the movements of hot gas within the star, could be causing the star's core to become increasingly unstable. It's possible that Betelgeuse is already in a late stage of its life, undergoing what is known as the carbon burning phase, which typically lasts only about 1,000 years. Once this phase ends, the star will reach a tipping point, and the conditions for a supernova will be in place. It's not just the dimming events that have astronomers intrigued but also the overall behavior of Betelgeuse. Unlike many other red supergiants, Betelgeuse exhibits unusual characteristics that have led some researchers to propose a fascinating theory about its origin. According to this theory, Betelgeuse may have once been part of a binary star system, meaning that it could have originated from the merger of two smaller stars. This theory helps to explain some of Betelgeuse's peculiarities, such as its fast rotation and its unusually high concentration of heavy elements like nitrogen in its atmosphere. Typically, red supergiants rotate slowly, but Betelgeuse's rapid rotation could be the result of the merger, which transferred angular momentum to the star and accelerated its spin. Additionally, the fusion of two stars could explain the star's unusual chemical composition. The idea that Betelgeuse could have once been a binary system is a compelling one but it is still the subject of debate among scientists. Some researchers believe that the fast rotation and other peculiarities may simply be the result of optical illusions caused by turbulent surface activity. The irregular behavior of Betelgeuse's surface, as seen in recent observations, could create the appearance of rapid rotation even if the star is actually spinning more slowly than it seems. This raises an important question, just how much do we really know about the star's true nature? The reality is that, despite decades of research and observation, Betelgeuse's behavior is still somewhat of a mystery. The challenge in studying Betelgeuse is due to the complexity of the processes occurring within the star. Scientists are able to observe the star's surface activity with increasing precision, thanks to advancements in technology. The Hubble Space Telescope and other instruments have provided stunning images of Betelgeuse's surface, revealing massive convection cells and turbulent movements of gas. These images allow astronomers to study the star's outer layers in detail, but they can't provide a complete picture of what's happening inside. The core of Betelgeuse remains hidden from view, and it's difficult to make accurate predictions about when the star will explode. Despite the uncertainties, scientists are confident that Betelgeuse is nearing the end of its life. The evidence from recent observations and simulations suggests that the star is likely in the final stages of its evolution. It is currently undergoing a phase of intense internal instability, with deep convective currents pushing massive amounts of material to the surface. This constant upheaval is making Betelgeuse's core increasingly unstable, and the star is likely to explode within the next few decades. While the exact timing of the explosion remains uncertain, it's clear that Betelgeuse is on a path that will eventually lead to its spectacular death. As the day of Betelgeuse's supernova draws closer, the scientific community is preparing for what could be a once-in-a-lifetime event. Astronomers are refining their models and simulations to better understand the star's behavior and predict when the explosion might occur. Meanwhile, they continue to monitor the star's fluctuations in brightness, looking for signs that it is getting closer to its final moment. The explosion of Betelgeuse will provide a wealth of information about the life cycle of massive stars, and it will offer a unique opportunity to study a supernova up close. For astronomers, this is an exciting time, the chance to witness such an event in our own galaxy is rare, and the information it provides will shape our understanding of stellar evolution for years to come. But Betelgeuse's significance goes beyond just its potential to explode. This star has been a part of human history for millennia, and its importance stretches back to ancient civilizations. 
the earliest recorded observations of Betelgeuse come from ancient Egypt and Mesopotamia, where the star was revered for its brightness and its unique reddish hue. Over time, Betelgeuse became a prominent feature in the night sky for cultures all over the world. In the Middle Ages, astronomers like Tycho Brahe made detailed records of Betelgeuse's brightness, noting its fluctuating light and wondering about its significance. Even before the advent of modern telescopes, Betelgeuse captured the imagination of stargazers, inspiring awe and wonder. As telescopes improved in the 16th and 17th centuries, astronomers were able to study Betelgeuse with greater detail. Galileo Galilei, one of the pioneers of modern astronomy, observed Betelgeuse and noted its fluctuating brightness. But it wasn't until the 20th century that scientists truly began to understand the nature of this incredible star. Spectroscopy, the study of light, allowed astronomers to analyze the chemical composition and temperature of distant stars for the first time. Through this technique, they discovered that Betelgeuse was a red supergiant, a star in the late stages of its evolution. With the development of the Hubble Space Telescope and other advanced technologies, scientists have been able to study Betelgeuse's surface and internal structure with unprecedented precision. Interferometry, a technique that allows astronomers to make extremely accurate measurements of distant objects, has provided stunning images of Betelgeuse's irregular surface activity. These images have given us new insights into the processes that drive the star's behavior, and they've opened up new avenues for research. But as much as we know about Betelgeuse, there's still so much we don't understand. The star continues to surprise us with its unpredictability and the question of when it will explode remains unanswered. The mystery of Betelgeuse is a reminder that, despite all our technological advancements, there's still so much about the universe that we have yet to uncover. What we do know is that when Betelgeuse finally explodes, it will be an event unlike anything humanity has ever witnessed. It will be a reminder of the incredible forces at work in the universe, and a testament to the fleeting nature of even the most massive stars. And perhaps, for a brief moment, it will remind us of how small we really are in the grand scheme of the cosmos.